All right, I'm back at our Florida dock, and I'm on a mission to catch some crab bait. Let's see. Brought some shrimp from home, caught in the marshes of South Louisiana. Got a drop shot rig tied up, actually two of them. From our last trip here, we caught some whiting and white trout and catfish, and I'm fine with any of that today. All right, cast number one. Set rig fishing, baby. Oh, bite already. Oh, 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 there we go. That didn't take long. Don't know what it is, but it does not feel giant. Probably a cat. Yep, starting to dig. Probably a cat. That's all right, we'll take a cat. Catfish make good crab bait, don't they? Oh yeah, world class. Hardhead. All right, never been happy to catch a catfish before. But we'll put him to good use. That took all of five seconds. Cast number two. See if we get as lucky. I do still have some fish bites from my last trip here. I may put these to use. A lot harder to get off the hook than shrimp. And they definitely work. They did last time at least. Oh, there's something. There's something. There's some bait. Not big. Another catfish. We'll take him. We will take him. Bad thing with catfish is getting him off the hook. All right, put shrimp on one, fish bites on the other. If I can get it rigged up. There we go. Last time I was here, the whiting wanted the fish bites. Let's see if we get another whiting. That'd be awesome. Something on here. Oh, there we go. A nice whiting. And here comes a blue heron trying to relieve me of it. That's a pretty, pretty whiting. It's a good eater right there. Why didn't go crazy? Something I noticed last time. You try and unhook them, they go nuts. Wow. Hey, Vanna. How are you? Where you want to go? In the pool. In the pool. You have to be five or older to swim in the pool. Are you five? No. Uh-oh. I'm almost five. Oh, well, that's good. They'll probably just let you then. Well, we're just going to leave it right here, and you just got to watch it and see if something bites it. This is called set rig fishing. Papa doesn't do a lot of it. Oh, oh, oh! Grab it! Grab it! You caught one? Oh, I think you got away. That was a good one, too. Oh, shoot. He had to eat the worm. He might still be on there. Oh, look at my baby. If he is, he's not big. There we go. Oh, oh it's another whiting. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. That's what we want. <laughs> he's funny. <laughs> he's pretty. Look, the heron wants him. Man, they hit hard. You think you got like a giant redfish. the next morning i filleted those whiting yesterday and cooked them up for lunch let me tell you they were absolutely fantastic whiting is just one of the best fish but you know if you saw a video i did years ago 
I sent down a GoPro with a crab net to get to see what's going on in a crab net while it's in the water. Very, very cool video. I'll link to it if you haven't seen it. But I've always wondered what goes on in a crab trap. How do crabs find their way in? How long does it take? I'm gonna see if we can find that out today. There's my trap right here. There's the carcasses from yesterday's trip. I'm gonna load it up, put it down with a GoPro in it and see if we can figure out what goes on in a crab trap when it's underwater. All right, we got the camera installed. You can see that there, got it baited up. Only took, I got one catfish in there and two whiting carcasses, that's all it would fit. So now I just gotta find a spot for it and send it on its way. Right about there, looks good. All right, cross your fingers. All right, I'm showing again the dropping of the trap into the water, this time from the perspective of the mounted GoPro. Now our visibility is really good until our trap hits the bottom and kicks up a bunch of silt. By the time the smoke clears, it's evident that two crabs have made their way into the trap. Here, and here. I don't know why, but I always kind of assume once crabs enter the trap, they realize the jig was up and spent all their time in there trying to get out. This shows, however, that crabs are complete idiots. They mow down on any scraps of meat they can get their claws on, completely oblivious to the fact they've entered the crab version of the Roche Motel. Crabs check in, but they don't check out. But the crabs are downright docile compared to the schools of pinfish that just constantly rob the trap of bait. Tiny chomp by tiny chomp. Watching these voracious pinfish, it's amazing anyone survives to swim in the waters along the Florida coast. Lucky for them, they're small enough to fit through the holes of the trap, so they skedaddle when I start to lift it. Crabs, however, aren't so lucky. There we go. Now hopefully go for a work. All right, always cool to get a camera underwater to see what goes on when the fish and crabs think we're not looking. Just always really neat to see. Well, hopefully you enjoyed the video as much as I did putting it together. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Mass on channel on YouTube. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Mass on.